So Willie, you get a chance to play with the Toronto Marlies well into May, and here you are now. Has there been much of an off season for you, given all the hockey you've played over the last year? Yeah, I mean, of course, you. Uh, it took maybe a week uh, off there uh, right after we uh, lost there. It was a tough loss, but take a week off, and then you're uh, right back at it with uh, summer workouts and trying to get ready for next year. You got to play pro hockey in two continents last season. How important was that for your development as a, a young professional? No, I mean, I think it was, uh, it was pretty big. I mean, playing over in Sweden for uh, half the year and then coming over to get to play some of the AHL hockey, I mean, it was, uh, it was a good learning experience for me and it, uh, hopefully made me a better player. Bullseye was on your back last year at this camp coming out of the draft. Uh, how different do you feel mentally as you come into your, your second development camp? Well, I mean, of course, I mean, coming into the second time, I mean, you feel, uh, feel a little bit more uh, relaxed. You know what's going to happen, you know, uh, sort of what's going to go on during camp. I mean, coming in last year, I had no idea what was going to go on. So you're uh, a little more relaxed and more focused on uh, what you're uh, here to do. The organization drafts two more Swedes last month. Uh, Got to feel good when you look around you and, and the Swedish contingent that's within this organization? Yeah, I mean, of course, that's lots of fun. I mean, I know the two guys uh, pretty well, too. So it's, uh, it was happy to see them come up there on the board when, uh, when I was at home. How challenging was the transition from Modo to the Toronto Marlies when you joined the club last January? I mean, I, I don't think it was, uh, it was too bad. It was just, I mean, of course, it's a different style of play here in the AHL. So, I mean, that took some time. And then uh, after a while, it, it felt pretty well. You get a chance to join the Marley team just as things are getting good. What was the difference in that team when you guys got on a roll that uh, allowed you to end up seventh in the conference and then put up a pretty good show against uh, Grand Rapids? I mean, uh, for me, it's hard to say. I mean, I wasn't there for the uh, beginning of the season, but uh, I, I felt like when I came in, there, uh, the group was strong, and uh, I don't know from what I, what I felt that they, were, uh, they kept together during the tough time, and once uh, I got there, they helped me and took care of me, and uh, we, uh, we were able to clinch, or clinch the playoffs. Confidence, you've always had that. Uh, now with your second full season here coming up ready for North America, are you confident maybe that you've got a chance to make this very young Toronto Maple Leaf hockey team? I mean, looking, uh, looking at it, that's, uh, that's my dream and that's uh, my goal. I, I know it, it'll take a, a lot of hard work, but I mean, I mean all you got to do is play hard and uh, work hard every day, and hopefully, uh, hopefully that dream will uh, happen. 57 guys in camp here. How do you guys come together as a group as you get ready to go to Collingwood? No, I think, uh, I mean, obviously the first day, it's, uh, it's a little uh, slow. Everybody doesn't know everybody, so it takes a while. And then I think uh, after a couple of days now, uh, we'll be like a, like a team almost. It'll be lots of fun to meet, the, meet all the other guys and have fun. Any extra pressure on you being a first-round pick and the expectations that go with being William Nylander? Um, to me, it's just, uh, I mean, I just try to focus on what I have to do. I don't really think about the uh, pressure of uh, anybody else. I think the pressure that I put on myself is... Uh, is more than what uh, other people uh, put on me. So I think uh, there's uh, just focusing on what I have to do. Is there less pressure knowing that this organization's not going to rush anyone, that when you do get a chance to come up, they're gonna make sure that you're ready? I mean, uh, for me, I'm just focusing on uh, I'm becoming a better player. I, I, I can't really control uh, when I get uh, called up or, uh, or, I mean, when that happens. I'm just getting ready for, uh, for the season and Hopefully uh, one day you get to play there. You see this organization and where it is five years from now and just how competitive it can be. And do you look that far ahead? I mean, of course, you see the, the skill that, uh, that we, uh, or that they uh, have acquired now during this draft. I think it uh, looks, uh, looks fun and I think this camp will uh, be, be a start.